Hello you guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're doing amazing. I'm doing amazing. I am so excited to record this video because it was highly requested. I'm gonna be taking you guys through a what I eat in a day period edition. I was gonna make this a what I eat in a week, but I realized that this week in my life is actually gonna be very unusual because I'm actually going on my first brand trip tomorrow, which I'm so excited about. I'm going to an upstate New York hotel with Adidas for the launch of their new running shoe. And then I'm going home to Florida for a friend's wedding. So it's going to be kind of an unusual week. So I thought, why not make this into a what I eat in a day? And then in my next period, I can make a what I eat in a week. I have a very cozy work day ahead and I plan on cooking lots of yummy meals. I'm gonna try to do a spark notes version of how I nourish my body during my period before we get into the video. Our period is our inner winter. And so my number one priority is sleep. I try to rest my body as much as I can and I go on more light forms of movement like walking and maybe yoga in the first few days of my period as I'm inching into days four five six that's when I start to pick my weightlifting back up and other forms of movement like Pilates or whatever. I'm very intuitive with how I move my body, but sleep is number one when I'm on my period. Also, when, for example, we're in winter time, right, we lean into more warming foods like soups, like hot drinks, like warming, grounding foods, like sweet potato. So I also lean into that or try to lean into that more. And that's what I'm gonna show in this video, just recipe ideas that are more grounding, more nourishing, and that help you tap into that vibe I also think because we're now at the end of fall and starting to get into winter in New York, it's easier to do this. Like when you have your period and it's summertime, it's harder to lean into like soups and grounding foods. So in a way, I'm also practicing seasonal eating. We just switched from daylight savings in New York like two days ago. And so now the days are getting shorter and I think leaning into seasonal eating is something I really want to prioritize this winter. That said, last night I went to Philly to go back to the Penn campus where I went to school and to speak at a club that I used to be a part of called Cogwell. They do active listening trainings for students and just really prioritize mental health awareness. And it was awesome to go back and just share my journey with healing my relationship with my body and with food and to connect with the students who are part of the club right now. And it was really, really special. But because I had to take the train into Philly, I only got home at midnight. And so I really prioritized sleeping in today. I woke up at like 8.15, 8.30. It's now 9 a.m. And I'm gonna go make breakfast. I I got my period when I got into Philly. So today is my first official day on my period and I'm excited to just do some home cooking and really nourish my body with some grounding meals. As always, all of the meals that I make will be included in a PDF linked in the description with a grocery guide and a full recipe guide. So yes, let's get into the video and let's go make breakfast. Supplement time. I'm gonna take my Stay Well, especially now that it's getting colder. I'm gonna do three droppers in here. It has astragalus, chaga, reishi, ginseng, ginger, and peppermint. I kind of have it stacked by taking my vitamins with my water. I'm gonna make some apple pie, apple cinnamon, oats, and I think it's gonna be so good. First things first, I'm gonna boil some water in my electric tea kettle. This is the biggest hack to save yourself time when you don't want to wait for it to boil on your stove top. Oh, messed up. Gotta measure it out. One cup of water. I have this very tiny apple, really, really small. <laughs> so I'm just gonna chop this up. I make them into very, very thin slices. Put a drizzle of maple syrup on there. Half of a tablespoon. Thank you. 
Oh my god. Oh my god. I'm genuinely so proud of this. It also tastes freaking incredible. This tastes absolutely incredible. No. Stay, stay, stay. So good. It's like so nourishing. Mmm. Flavorful. It's packed with fiber from the apple and the oats, some healthy fats from the peanut butter, protein from the protein powder, and a little bit of Greek yogurt that I put in there. Mmm. Starting off strong. That was literally so freaking good. Now I'm gonna get started with work. I'm gonna attempt to make a warm matcha. I am not the best person at making warm matchas. I'm much better at making iced matcha, but I'm gonna try my best today. And I'm gonna use my little frother. So hopefully that works. I'm gonna use this. So I'm gonna put everything in here. I'm gonna start out with Tash pistachio milk. I'm gonna shake this up. The unsweetened pistachio milk. If you want to recreate this, you could try it with just regular almond milk. I'm gonna do around Eight ounces. Just got a fresh box of peak matcha. Let's take one packet. And I'm also gonna put some collagen peptides. A scoop. I'm going to froth this up. Okay, if you guys are looking for a frother like this, this is from Amazon. It's always linked in my storefront. Let's see how it turns out. And hope for the best. Most on brand mug ever. <laughs> Let's hope it tastes good. Okay, time for the truth. Actually, it's not bad. At first, I didn't think I would like it. So I'm gonna just put a little bit of the original special milk, which is just a tiny bit sweeter. Taste test again. Okay, that's, that's pretty good. Time to go to work. Hi, you guys. I just went to Target to buy some gift wrap. It's so hot outside and I'm sweating so much. Anyway, it's lunchtime. I was going to stop at the grocery store and buy stuff, but I realized I actually have some stuff at home and I might as well just use it. So I'm gonna make myself a little quinoa bowl. Quinoa, carrots, my leftover sweet potato, and then I also have some cabbage that I'm gonna throw in the air fryer. Then I'm gonna also make some chicken. And do one cup of quinoa. One cup quinoa with two cups of water in here, and I'm gonna bring it to a boil. Salt this. Quinoa is boiling, so I'm going to move this to simmer. All the oil in this. Salt, some paprika. I'm going to pop this in the air fryer now. Here's the finished product. Honestly, I completely pulled this off and I'm very proud of myself. We got quinoa with air fried cabbage and onions and then some sweet potato and chicken with a little dressing that I made out of hummus and lemon. Let's taste test. Ooh la la, this looks delicious. Exactly what I needed. Mm-hmm. This is really, really, really good. Hello you guys, Gabby's here. We're having a little girls night. So we're gonna make a butternut squash pasta with sage. Sage and butter and rigatoni. 
and it's gonna be amazing. Yes. And it's gonna be very nourishing for my period. And Gabby's also on her period. Mm -hmm. we're so sinking. <laughs> we're sinking right now. <laughs> and so let's get to cooking, shall we? Yes. Oh yes, this is perfect. Time is the best. Delicious, delicious, delicious. product looking like a meal from a restaurant literally yeah i am so impressed excited to eat let's dive into this amazing food okay we're taste testing this pasta i think this is like the most cool looking pasta i've ever made also like we were talking about fear foods before like mm -hmm. a moment for celebrating like wins with fear foods like i never really buy like the pasta that's not like the bonza pasta or like the protein pasta i was like boring. no i want the rigatoni like i want the good fresh pasta and like i'm so glad that i got it mm -hmm. so first bite mm. it's so soothing it's like a hug it's an autumn hug mm -hmm. the mushrooms on top were such a good add mm -hmm. i really like the flavor so mm -hmm. Cheers. All right, you guys, that is it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed following along this very cozy day of eating in my life. And I hope that it gave you some inspiration on different recipes you can try or different ways to take care of your body during your period. As always, there is a free PDF linked in the description with all of the recipes that I made outlined there for you and also a free grocery list. And definitely let me know in the comments which of the recipes look the best to you, which one you'd be most excited to try. If you're not yet part of my YouTube family, don't forget to hit subscribe and like this video. I also feel like right now is a really good time to share with you guys some tea on what's coming up in my life and also what my videos will end up being about in the next month. Pedro and I had the opportunity to essentially travel for a whole month. So I'm about to enter my travel vlogger era i'm going to be going to europe with him so we're going to be going to a few different cities so i'm going to be taking you guys along i am just so excited for this new chapter and for everything that it's going to bring all the memories all the adventures all the good food so stay tuned for that and definitely let me know in the comments what you guys want me to show from the trips if you want me to do more travel vlogs more what i eat in a day based on where i am i love you guys i'll see you in my next video and hope you have an amazing rest of your day Mwah!